Hey guys, was and welcome to another video my squad of Belay. And this is another Chelsea transfer news video. In this video, I'll be discussing three stories. The first story does regard Pedro and Willian and their contracts running down into next summer. Going to be talking about Samuel Chukwazi. Hopefully, I haven't butchered his name from Villarreal. Going to be getting to his quotes, what he said yesterday about Chelsea. And would I see him fit in the Chelsea? Do I see him being our future star? What type of player he is and why I do like the player? My thoughts, opinions on him. And also, Jeremy Boga. Would I take him back at Chelsea after his impressive spell this season in the Serie A? Going to be mentioning those stories, talking about them. But before we do get into it, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you are not on here. Make sure you hit the button of so I for every time I do upload. And comment down with your thoughts opinions in the comment section below. And of course, apologies for my trim. It's looking poor. Um, I'm going to be getting a fresh trim soon, so don't you worry about that. But yeah, let's get straight into it. And of course, starting off with the first story, it does regard Pedro and William. And of course... Both of their contracts are running down until 2020 next summer. And Juventus have been very, very interested. Now, of course, Juventus, they're the king of free agents. They love picking up free agents. Of course, they signed Adrian Rabio last year on a free. They signed Emre Chan on a free. Um, they love cheap deals. You know, they've always done a free deal, a lot of, you know, free agent deals. Uh, of course, it's very attractive for them because obviously Juventus pay up high. It's attractive for Juventus because, because they don't have to play their the respective club's money as well. So it's a win-win for both, hence why Juventus love doing free agents. Now, of course, we know that Pedro and Willian, both of their contracts are running down. I made a video a few days ago regarding Willian, if he will sign a contract extension. And um, like I said, it's a bizarre situation. His camp, of course, Kai, his agent, has reported that there isn't an offer on the table, but Chelsea, the board, insists that there has been an offer. So it's a bit of a bizarre situation that I think the situation will get cleared up soon. But Pedro, he's definitely leaving next summer. He hasn't had any, you know, game time this season, really. Of course, he played against West Ham last week. But before that, he barely played, and he played quite shockingly. I think the 33 years of age now, his time at Chelsea will be coming to an end. And I have no doubt about it that he will be leaving at the end of next season. I think the Juventus... Would be a good move. Now, of course, he did in the summer did have an interview and he said that he would like to finish his career in Spain. But, like I said, Juventus, I believe they could persuade him, give him a few minutes. Of course, the manager of Juventus, Mauricio Sarri, he was our manager last year. He's worked with both of these players. That's why it makes logical sense, hence why these reports are coming to the surface. Now, Pedro, I've no doubt about that, will be leaving. He won't be receiving contract extension, so I believe that he will be leaving. However, with William. It, like I said, it's a bizarre situation. Of course, in January, Pedro and Willian will be able to talk to any club that, as they wish because, of course, they can sign pre-contracts. They'll have six months on their contract on their current deal left. So they're available and allowed to talk to any current club. Now, regarding Willian, like I said, um, it's a bizarre situation. He could be receiving a contract extension. But Lampard stressed he would like the situation resolved before the giant transfer window. So ideally, we, are, we have entered the month of December. So ideally, he wants the situation clarified in this month whether he will be leaving next summer or if he will be signing a contract extension of course Chelsea only want to give Willian two years whereas Willian wants three years of course Willian is 32 years of age we, we have this policy that we don't give players over uh, you know over the age of 30 a one-year contract and of course if he does sign uh, this new two-year deal he will have monetary value so that if we do ever sell him in the future and the performances keep you know keep doing well then we can you know sell him on for a current value because at the moment if we sold him we wouldn't really get much so i think it's very clever business wise a business move a monetary value now of course like i said hopefully the situation will and will clear soon but report according to reports the mail online pedro and Willian, um of course are the, the two players that Juventus is interested in. And the Juventus directors have flown in into London, apparently, according to the Mail Online. And they've met with the Chelsea board members to discuss a potential deal for Pedro and William. So, of course, it was getting serious. Now, two, three weeks ago, um, it was only rumours. It was only rumours that Juventus were really interested in Pedro and William, where both of their contracts are running down. However, now the Juventus directors and executives have flown into London to discuss a potential deal for both, like I said, Pedro and William. So let's see how that story develops. Of course, if there is more, you know, developing stories and publications and more news regarding that, I will be the, you know, this is the first channel that will break it to. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. But yeah, getting into the second part of the story, and that is, of course, why you all guys watch this video, and that is Samuel Chukwazi. Now, any of you Nigerians that are watching my channel, of course, there is quite a few of you. Apologies, I'm probably butchering his name. If you know how to pronounce his name, please leave me your thoughts in the comments below. Please pronounce it because I can't pronounce it. Chukwazi, Chukwazi. 
honestly. Anyway, the guy's a baller. He's an absolute baller. I've been interested in you know for over a year now. I've been watching him. I now and again watch uh, La Liga. And, of course, he plays for Villarreal. Young, left-footed as well. And that's the key here. He's left-footed. A lot of the, the Chelsea fan base, especially on Twitter and social media, have been crying out for a left-footed player. And we haven't replaced him since Iron Robin, who was left-footed, of course. Now, so far this season, um, Chuck Wozzi has done very, very well. Now, we, of course, know he's 20 years of age. Uh, so, of course, very, very young. Pulisic's age, younger than Pulisic has world-class potential, a top-top winger, scouted and monitored by pretty much all the elite clubs in Europe right now. And so far this season in the La Liga, he's played 14 games, three goals and one assist. Now, even though that record doesn't seem impressive, it's his attributes and his potential that is what we will be paying for, essentially. Of course, he's 20, so he's not going to be the finished article yet. He's not going to be fantastic and world-class at this moment in time at his age. But, of course, if we do buy him, we'll be paying for his potential, what he could become. Now, like I said, the key thing with players is that are this young, that have so much potential, is the attributes. Does it suit the style of system? Does it suit Lampard's system? And what type of player they are? Of course, he's left-footed, which is crucial when you play in right-wing position. I keep stressing this. It creates those passing angles. When you're right-footed, and we saw against West Ham with Willian, every time the ball came to Willian, he stepped over, beat his man across into nowhere. Because he's right-footed and you're on the right wing, your passing lanes, your angles are closed down because there's it's hard an angle. But being left-footed on the right-hand side, you have more passing options, you have more passing lanes, and it causes more issues for the fullback. Now, of course, that's why left-footed wingers are so valuable these days and so in high in demand. And like I said, that's really, really good. That's a really, really good record. His numbers have been improving year on year. Of course, he's 20. And the best thing with him being 20 is that, you know, of course, he can be mouldable. Lampard can mould him into whatever play he wants to. And, of course, he's a top-top player. You know, his attribute is fast, he's agile, he's quick. His end product keeps on improving. His goals and assists end product will keep on improving. He's left-footed, which is crucial. The type of finishes he scores as well. Really, really good passing lanes and angles. And the guy is one of the hottest prospects in Europe right now and will be a world-class wing in the future. I think that, like I said, Chelsea should be keeping eye on him at least, at least be interested or monitoring. Now, getting into his quotes, which is quite interesting. Now, Samuel Trakwazi had an interview yesterday and he basically said, this is his quote, he said, I was supporting Chelsea. I used to support every team that featured a Nigerian. So my love for Chelsea then was because of Mikel. I'm not going to Chelsea because I'm a Villarreal player and I need to get my confidence more. For now, I am a Villarreal player and maybe in the future a movement is possible. But right now, my attention is on Villarreal. I want to focus well on my club and gain more confidence. Maybe when the time is ripe, I can move. So like I said... That's the key thing here, right at the end when he said, when the time is right, when the time is right, I can move. So he even knows himself that he needs a lot of developing, he's young, he needs to improve a lot more. I think that maybe a move to Chelsea may be a bit too early. But what I would say is, secure him now. Do a politic type deal, secure him now, or do what Arsenal did with William Saliba. You know he's young, you know he has so much world-class potential. You don't want any other top clubs like Barca, Real Madrid, you know, getting him. You want to get him early. Do what Arsenal do with Saliba. Sign him now and send him on loan back to Villarreal for another couple of seasons. Let him develop, let him develop his skills. The guy's a Chelsea fan, pretty much like every top winger here. Leon Bailey, Nicolas Pepe, Chuck Wazi, Jadon Sancho, all these players, they're all Chelsea players. What can I say? We're a gargantuan institution. We're a top club. What can I say, lads? But like I said, it's promising. Those quotes are really, really promising. So, yeah, like I said, um, would love Samuel Chuck Wazi. Be a top, top player at Chelsea. And personally, I'd love him at Chelsea. I don't know about you guys. Leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Would you love to see Samuel Chuck Wazi at Chelsea? Or do you think that you'd have other winger targets that you'd like Chelsea to go for? But ending this video, let's go on to Jeremy Boga, another winger that's playing in Syria for Sassuolo. Uh, of course, he's been on fire this season. Chelsea Academy graduate. Some say he's the best Academy graduate we've produced out of the Academy. And he's been fantastic this season. Of course, 12 goals in Syria this season, 4 goals, 1 assist, 5 goals and assists in 12 games. And yesterday, he was a massive talking point. And of course, Jeremy Boga used to be, used to be a Chelsea player. And he's been fantastic. He's been Sassuolo's best player. Scored a fantastic goal in the Turin against Juventus. Has been on fire. And like I said, this guy has so much potential. He's young. Of course, Cahill, when he got sent off, it kind of ruined his opportunity. But I would love Jeremy Boga, especially for the price. We do have a buyback clause, a £3.5 million buyback clause on Jeremy Boga, which is which can be activated by Chelsea. So, of course, very, very cheap price for a guy that could be world-class in the future. 22 years of age. And as a backup option for depth, a quality, quality depth for a cheap option for a quality player who's already been at the club. He's Premier League proven. He's got world-class potential on for depth-wise and what he could become. I'd love Jeremy Boga at Chelsea. That's my thoughts and opinions. Leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Would you like to see Jeremy Boga or would you like to see a different winger? 
leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. But I want to wrap up the video there, guys. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you are not here. Make sure to hit the notifications for every time I do upload. And like I said, comment down with your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. But yeah, I'm going to keep things moving, guys. And I'll see you guys for my next video. Peace.